yes, hello and welcome. I'm just petting my cat here right next to me. Oh, yes, he's such a good boy. Yes, he is. And we're on Mill Road. Today's contestants are fairly evenly ranked on the ladder. And let's introduce them, shall we? Down south, it is Ferry G playing as the Ostier. And he is up against... Elpern, who has seemed to claim every single clan tag there is. Soviets, yeah, yeah. The Comrade General. Now, let's see. Uh, Ferry G is bringing a lot. Yes, you got it. Yeah, good boy. You got it. Yeah. He caught a few feathers. He's bringing along Spearhead, Jaeger Infantry, and Blitzkrieg Doctrine. And Elpern, <clears throat> besides. Guard motor. He's not bringing airborne, but got defensive tactics and guard rifle combined arms tactics. Bulletins wise, fairly standard here for Fair G and all other Austere players. And oh, here's something a little unusual. A little more penetration for the Siskun. And do I have to let my cat out? Yes, I thought so. Hold on a moment. Whoa, and we're back. Did I miss anything? Probably not. See, that's the thing. He he likes to be in here and then relax. Uh, sleep. But as soon as I get going casting, then he leaves. It doesn't matter if I'm talking to my girlfriend. He doesn't mind that. But whenever I'm beginning to cast, then he's like, I'll get up and go. <laughs> Oh well. Alright. Ferry G has taken the stronghold. Well, it's not really that much of a stronghold. But now leaving. Okay. Oh, that guy, he was on the wrong side of everything. Alrighty then, Ferry G moving in. So are the pioneers. They should be able to do a lot of damage. And there we go. Single line. File the retreat. Elpern probably gonna go down here maybe and help out. No? Also needs to be wary of um, the troops in his backyard. He is going in to clean up. And... Elpern, having braced himself for the incoming attack here. He is, of course, in green cover and have the high ground. Oh, right. They could actually squeeze them in there and actually benefit from all the green cover that this sandbag provides. Hmm. A little bit annoying, I would imagine. To say the least. Actually, very annoying. Upgrade. Yep, we got escalated up to Battle Phase 2. And voila! Sandbags no longer... Um, Useful for Elper. Okay, time to go. Granate hits the building, however. Mm. Going in there. A couple of windows that could be utilized. Elper swings around. Gets into cover there, but okay, more fire is just being pointed at this house. So, time for a new position. The heavy machine gun cannot hit them while they're hiding behind the garrison. Retreat? Okay. Yeah, there was no way he was winning that fight. So back to base, save a bit of manpower, and Ferry G gonna get up the Lekka Mechanized Company. And I would also assume a bunker, mid bunker. Get going. Yeah, there we go. Bunker coming up. Grenadiers, 
Yeah, each of these models, I believe, is uh, 30 manpower, so uh, not that cheap compared to, say, conscripts. 22. Or is it 20? It's 20. And the combat engineers are 21. Without the... Um, the mobilized reserve, once they get that, then it's 18 to reinforce the um, the conscripts. Oh, hello. Elpern having left a little surprise up there. I don't think Fairy G expects it. It should be revealed. There we go. But uh, he spotted it, I hope. Yeah, he has definitely spotted that. But hitting a stationary target... Oh, <laughs> okay, there we go. Got it. Finally got it. <clears throat> and Elpern going for the M5. A solid choice when you're up against us there. The M5 with the uh, crowd more upgrade. Can easily um, overwhelm the 222. And cut! And action! Might as well just target the uh, sandbag. Yeah, there we go. Almost dead and gone. And look at these! Anti air package. Or in this case, anti 222 package. Is about to uh, be installed. <clears throat> yeah, good luck with that. Any snares nearby? See, below half health and the 2 to 2 well, only managed to get a single shot off with, with its cannon. Oof. That's the bit, that's the engagement there for uh, Ferry G and his 2 to 2 But at least the 2 to 2 survived, so there's that. Pack gun arrives, and the grenadiers, they're falling back. They just wanted to greet the pack gun so badly. Unfortunately, Klaus won't be able to greet the pack gun. You know, four rifles versus four machine guns doesn't really seem fair now, does it? Oh, Fairy G going for the mortar half track? Curious choice. But then again, this map has a good spot for any mortars or indirect fire uh, that is operated by infantry right here. Just sit right there, hurl grenades, whatever you have, at the enemy. Well, there's a lot of fighting going on, but at the moment, the uh, positioning seems to be a bit static. And uh, wow, barbed wire galore down here. Petcon also trying to find the M5, but the M5 is just slithering out of its range. There we go, guards on the field. And they are being issued their DP light machine guns. So, uh oh. Little shot. Let's see if. Uh, nope, didn't hit. No hits from the mortar. In fact, it only looks like it has hit, hit once looking at its uh, veterancy experience. Yeah, don't get points for destroying the well. Which is a fake well. Don't know. If can see it but see it's just grass down there no hole no well it's no water fake well Our opponents are seizing 
For a moment there, I thought uh, he would be able to get it off Faust. Hmm. Not the case, though. All right, Superman. You and your capes. Oh, the play, the play! <laughs> nice! Beautifully read there by Elpern. Yeah, good versus garrisons. That's what the mortars generally are. Checking back up here. Take fire. Yeah, it's this gun. And oh, the M5 is out for blood. Panzer tactician coming in here from a spearhead doctrine. Very handy dandy. And now the pack on. Yeah, might be able to get off a shot. Will it hit though? Yes. Yep, there is Ivan indeed. Ooh, wow, mortar. It's been a long time coming, but when it finally got a kill, it got two for one. Not bad at all. And Elpern continues to pressure with his uh, cis guns, pushing away any armor that Ferry G may have. In fact, Ferry G has been pretty much uh, confined to this area up here at least most of his troops have been there a few of them are down south trying to make some sort of advance but now Fergie ready to take the middle yeah 300 points Elpern with an excellent VP control so far This mortar here is has seen better days. One more hit, and it unlocks the counter barrage ability. But then again, it has nothing to really counter barrage. Elpern not going for the 120 millimeter just yet. But if uh, the game should come to um, that talk of war phase, then a 120 millimeter is excellent. Goodbye. Boom. Something is being built. Yeah, okay. Mechanized armor company are good to go. And again, hiding behind here. Here comes the M5. He needs to get away here. Yeah, this is... Okay, a little bit of smoke buys it some time. Ilpern not diving in to destroy it. Oh, and gets Fausted! Here comes the last finishing shot! Whee! Oof. Okay, he has to reload. Saves the guards some pain. Still have to run straight through these uh, two grins here. Ooh, and the 2 to 2, but hey, they almost made it out. All of them. Just a PGRS rifle. Not really worth for Ferry G to pick up. Elpern. Going for a Katusha? As his first choice. Mm hmm. No, nope, it cancels it. Uh, we're getting worried there that he may not have anything to protect the Katusha from a 2 to 2 dive. Well, he has snares and guards. Yeah, okay. Would have been enough, at least for the time being. But hey, look at this. Ferry G. He has yet to get his support armor company down. Won't be long, though. Infantry awareness, okay. Rarely do we see that be used. Manufacturing capability has been increased. Yeah, a little bit of resistance down south. Where Elpern 
moves in with his AT gun. Where he has to um, wrestle a little bit with the uh, environment. Side blocker there, shot blocker there. A choke point there. Whew. Not really um, a good place for your AT guns. It's much easier to use them up here where there are open fields. And there it is. The first T-34 slash 85 is now on its way. Ferry G better step up the game here. But seeing as he'll be up against T-34s uh, slash 85, he may consider um, also escalating up to battle phase 3 and get a tiger. Because the 85 variant is only slightly more expensive than a P-4 has more health it can take another shot before it actually dies it has good penetration and good versus infantry as well so um yeah and i'll definitely say that the, the 85 variant has the edge versus austere's panzer 4 And not to mention that he can combine the 85 with the uh, Mark vehicle, which just increased the damage it does to, um, well, anything that's actually been marked. Yeah, he has invested a bit of fuel into um, light vehicles here. Yep, 60 fuel invested, 30 for the 2 to 2, 30 for the um, half track. But yep, that's the price you pay at the pump. First P4 on its way, coming out at... Well, it's gonna be the 18-minute mark. Our are a sector. But at least Ferry G has secured him with double AT guns. VP wise, well, Elpern about to take the majority of the VPs, furthering draining Ferry G of his points, who sits just below 300 points at the moment. And thus, Elpern has a has the lead. Enemy forces are securing our territory. Oh boy, triple cap. Ferry G cannot afford to uh, play passively for long. And with the arrival of his P4, he should be able to uh, maneuver uh, better as he can uh, easily respond to the um, T-34. Now that he's got some mobile AT on the field. Which is also uh, immune to small arms fire. Not counting PTRS as small arms fire though. What is that? Medium fire? Shoot that man! Or just shoot the sandbags. One more shot. Yeah, there we go. Where's your cover? Your cover's been blown. Yeah, we got the uh, pack gun here. Whew, hits the cow. Spare ribs. <laughs> Heavy machine gun versus sis gun. Would have been a one-sided match if it weren't for the Siskon's ability to do uh, artillery barrages. And the mortar half-track continues to pitch in, slowly but surely making its way up to Vet 2. Increases shell rate of fire. There we go, Vet 2 for the mortar. And the 85 has indeed taken a beating. Right, Ferry G making moves to the mid and north. Uh, yeah. Oh, trip flare goes up. Didn't it? Or were I mistaken? I just saw something that whoop, went up. 
Another P4. All right. Two Panzer IVs. Keep them alive. Accumulate fuel. Check up. Get that Tiger for a, a better shot at dealing with the um, 85 variant here. Oh, is that incendiary? Uh, incendiary motor barrage used? All right. Does cost a little bit of munitions, though. Pantafir and Elpern has enough fuel for another T-34. Just needs a little bit of more manpower and then he's good to go. And Elpern. He is being very manly. And what do I mean with that? No, it's not his hair. It's not his beard. Beer? Beard? No, he's only utilizing one AT gun. I've been told that that is the manly way to play. Wow, oh, people are just throwing stuff. Is that the... Yep. 120 millimeter. On the scene. <laughs> a lot of smoke here. Gets a uh, conscript. Neat. Time to go. Ah, oh, Siskon targets the one at full HP. Sad. Sad display. Oh, Elpern might not be able to safely disengage here, but a couple of misses from the P4s. <gasps> Takes down a Panzer IV, but now he needs to get this in order to get a trade. Come on. Hits. An AT gun there, but oh my goodness. The SIS gun lining. No, not lining up a shot up there. What's going on? I thought it would go for an attack ground here, but I think Elpern may. Oh, that's why. That's why he didn't stress the AT uh, attack ground. She's got to send another T 34 over there. <laughs> Boink. Dead it is. <sighs> Yeah. And now, 30G with little fuel in the bank. It's gonna take him a long time to uh, get out the tiger here, so I'm afraid that he'll. that he may have to rely on um, his P4s here. But trading wise, loses two Panzer IVs for a single. T-34 slash 85. That's a good trade for Elpern. Ouch. Yeah, that's a lot of fuel that he needs to invest if he wants to get out the bigger... the bigger cat. Now going for Stukes, alright. Cost effective, or at least they should be. Stuck for a T34. Makes a good trade for the austere player. Not taking, um, only taking resources into account here. just would be nice if Ferry G he could uh, manage to uh, escalate up and get out the bigger guns, but <sighs> I'm afraid the situation uh, that Elpern has put him in uh, doesn't quite allow it. We'll just have to see if Ferry G can weather the storm with what he's got available to him. Do have the 2 to 2 and company up there responding. And the 120 millimeter has indeed been bombing this area here. What? Has he just left it on attack ground? You could do that. Which is um, very handy if you're fighting British emplacements or the likes of it. Since them running back 2 to 2 defeats them, saves this VP still in austere hands. 
And here comes the next T-34. It's going to be a lot of them coming, I would imagine. Just needs one more minute of fuel for Fairy G, and then he should be able to get in another stuk. Oh, incinerator bombs. Here comes another one. Yeah, the Maxim there are going rat a tat tat. Oh boy, Stuk, fall back, Grenadiers! Also fall back, and there's the smoke. But, 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 T-34, butts in, butts out. Not before taking a uh, pack gun shot, though. And it is indeed a little bit of stalemate that we see here. Maxim standing on fire, taking slowly damage. And now relocates out of that. Shoot! A little bit of damage. But here comes the twin. Not implying that the other one is not a twin. A single twin. Yeah. Oh... Gotta go. Almost had the middle there. Oh, wait a minute. Is this... This is a 76. The budget version. Okay. Uh, it could be a sacrificial lamb if uh, he wanted to dive. You go in. You're the most expendable. Of the lot. Looks like Fairy G is gunning for a P4. Oh yes, it could be a good one here. If the Stu can get off one more shot. Buttoned and ram! Well, that's one way to get a trade. Oh boy, this is so painfully slow. Panzer Tactician might... Uh, yeah, that could have been used to cancel the buttoning. The buttoning. But still, a Stu for a... T34 slash 76. Just a little more, and then Ferry G, he's got the fuel. Trying to do something about those guards. There we go, 180 gun down, conscripts going in, unload. The other uh, pack gun is all the way over there. We have a little bit of fragmentation bombing run, but no wipes. There we go, gets the AT gun under his control again, and this 85 butts out Ferry G it's good to go with that another Panzer 4 nope it's going for the Stuk 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 when in doubt Stuk Katusha now Elpern upping his indirect fire game the mortar Let's just see, yeah, four kills. It can't cause any bleed to the mortar half track. At best it can cause a few dents, but it doesn't bleed. So there's that. Right, time to pack up. See you later. And Ferry G with the triple cap has actually taken the lead when it comes to VPs. This building looks a bit weird. What a weird place for the uh, the roof to land. Huh. Mines. And a little bit of flanking up here. Kanata! Mine goes boom! <laughs> Almost got a um, combat engineer squad with that mine exploding. You fat dumpton Germans! I will get you! I will get you! Da! Here it goes, he's poking his head in. Let's see, yep. Yep, 
catches in, you're damaged. That's what you get for poking your nose in the Ferry G's turf. But Elpern responds with rocket artillery. Home turf be damned. Ferry G lost the Grenadier squad. Missed. Oh, what? No, no. Could it really have been this? That destroyed it. It just went poof. Were this? No, no vehicles. Okay. A little surprise. Pack gun action? Interesting. Well, this could be an opportunity for Ferry G to uh, take the lead in terms of armor. Medium armor, that is. Hit the dirt. Well, at least he still got the 120mm. Back in base to S. He has indeed escalated up. Okay. Alright, just needs a uh, hundred more fuel, approximately. And then it's Tiger Time. Almost has the manpower. Should be good. Should be good. And by the time the Tiger gets out, I do believe Elpern should have um, enough resources for another T-34. Two of these T-34s along with an SU-85. And then he'll be good. To go against up against the tiger. Whew. It's fed free. Definitely been uh, paying itself off now, I'd say. Another little walk here. Not wanting to run into heavy, heavy machine guns. There are two of them currently on the field. One is back in base, though. Ooh, yeah, Elpern. He needs to turn this around quickly. But less than 100 points, he is on a collision course with defeat. No pendle mount machine gun. Hmm? It even comes at a discount. But I suppose Ferry G he wants to save for fragmentation bombs and snares. Have we even seen any mines be planted by Ferry G? Any tiller mines? No GG tiller mines? Not the case. And again, apply fire if point is being captured. Not really hitting in our mark though, but there we go. Heavy machine gun ready to deal with the guards. And T-34, yes, both of them. Ferry G still two minutes away from getting uh, enough fuel. Ho oh, ho, lots of machine gun fire being drawn onto the guards here. Don't need to tell them to hit the dirt, they are pinned. Again, with the smaller one, okay. Not really sure why he wants to go for the smaller one. Hmm. Wow, Fairy G going for Panther. Hmm. Maybe he saw the other uh, um, T-34 and is like, all right, I need to do it now. Still, I would have loved to see uh, the tiger. I believe it's better versus infantry than um, than the panther. And Elpern, one more minute and he can get another T-34, but perhaps he's getting a little impatient here. No, he's just doing a little bit of poking.
smoke. Yeah, the 120 millimeter does have smoke, but doesn't have any flares. But man, that's a lot of smoke here being deployed by both sides. Smoke him out! And even more smoke. Wow. Whew. Got a light because I got a smoke. Good hit. 120 millimeter doing its thing. It's actually gaining on uh, the number of kills. Here we see the half track having 20 more kills. This has 10. It's getting there. Have a little bit of movement down here. Panther has revealed itself. It's gonna snare it. Probably not. And bird in the sky. Reconnaissance. Just gonna have a look at the uh, Ferry G. Don't forget to smile. Mm. Smile for the spy plane. Oof. He managed to take one step back. And then he got killed. Spreading out the troops here. They may be able to recover from the suppression. Should definitely now that smoke has been planted. And Stuck falling back 2-2-2 two 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 has seen better days. The guards may be able if they can get a volley off. Smoke to answer tactician. No dice. Guards didn't get the 2-2-2. Two two two, and Nilpern is pushing. Push, push it to the limit. Ferry G is about to lose the screen. Oh, this retreat through the Maxim. Maxim is targeting the Panther. He's gonna live. Any any Faust? Yes. Another small T-34. Oh, retreats just as it was about to be fired. Mark vehicle on Panther. It's gonna go for it. One more shot. No. Misses. And we need to reinforce that. Everything needs to be done right away. This one getting repaired, back at base. Guards getting healed. Ferry G here. His forces are still standing, but man, they took a beating. And another plane in the sky. Elpern is actually looking quite strong. As he's now going for the triple cap. And Ferry G cannot as easily respond as most of his armor is in need of repair. <clears throat> and that machine gun is wrecked. Wrecked. Little push. <clears throat> Who got the kill? The Panther, apparently. Mm hmm. Anyway, this one and only Pioneer Squad, working overtime, might be worth considering getting another Pio Squad here to help out with the repairs. But still, currently it's all looking sort of good for Elpern. That triple cap here is really hurting uh, Ferry G. Ferry G is not ready to make any counterattack just yet with his arm. A new P4 is on the way. Infantry is slightly moving up here to the contact line. Yeah, green cover here puts a hold to that advance. Elpen, he has someone guarding most of the VPs. Yeah, even down south. There's tank sitting on that. This mortar using incendiary rounds to make it uh, very, very dish comfortable at staying behind it. Oh wow! That burns or should burn? No health damage. Hmm. Imagine doing damage. What a world! 
Yeah, it's just gone, but Raj incoming. Needs to retreat. Oh no. Whew, close one. 100 points and ticking. They are hurting here. And the guards will start dropping models. Nope, there we go. The retreat was called just in time. Oh, hello. Pack guns be creeping. Creeping up on the T-34 and struck it down. Uh, hold fire? Okay. Main gun down. Elpern in a bit of a blunder. Has he just poked his nose out of the gutter and got beaten up for it? Get in behind that sis gun. This could be the GG push for Ferry G. Seventy-five points and counting, and this little seventy-six here probably cannot do an awful lot. Guards trying to come in to do something about this Panzer IV. The T-34 is all up there, not coming down here to help out. Okay, now it is changing course. Panzer tactician. Meanwhile, this here is just awaiting repairs as this Panzer IV fights alone. Like Sylvester Stallone or something. <laughs> almost, almost got out. Oh, Will Pern with the triple cap loses his one and only armor. Ferry G. Okay, his light vehicles are in need of repairs. So is uh, the Panther. Not so badly as the other ones, though. But still, Ferry G. Okay, he's getting this one up there. South being guarded. So is the middle. Ooh, mortar. Pushes off the guards. Repair, 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 repair. Another P4. Wow. 25 for Fairy G. He has stopped the bleeding. It's currently a stalemate. More incendiary rounds being delivered. Forces off the Maxim. No heavy machine gun to cover the middle. As Elpern goes in for the cap. Another T-34 on its way. But it will be facing uh, a Stuk, a P-4 and a Panther. Plus a 2-2-2, two -two -two, but... Yeah. Well, they do have a PTRS rifle, not that they can do much. Time to go. Once again, the clock is ticking. 23. 22. And counting. Elpern again. Somebody should probably plant some S-Pines up there. Seems to be Elpern's favorite path to take. He may get a triple cap up. He needs the 2 to 2 to help guard that place up there. Or at least something. Because now he's getting a double capped. Which that he can ill afford. 2 to 2 inches back. I think he's keeping the 2 to 2 um, at the middle in order to provide vision. But 10, 8. This is a no go. He needs to get on the points now, but I fear it's too late. Yeah, this is over. Elpern takes the victory. Okay. I did not see that one coming. I think Ferry G had the uh, opportunity to close the game when this P4 was in here. Doing damage, but sadly that didn't happen. Definitely a game that could have been won by Ferry G. But Elpern snatches victory. Anyway, that's it for today. Like and subscribe if you want more. Dislike the video if you disliked it. And uh, I'll see you next time. Unless you want to look at some stats. Because we can totally look at some stats if you want to. Units killed? Well...
the mortar half track did have a friendly fire all right yeah definitely fairy g on top but elpern he just made it work resource float being resource float and here we see fairy g actually has the most of the map controls i'd say throughout the game ends on an equal node though and elpern's units in all their glory only loses two units one of them being a single conscript squad and the other a team weapon all right well done lost a lot of tanks though that's for certain yep let's have a look at fairy g fairy g also loses three, but only one regular squad, the others being team weapons. But yeah, that'll be all. So, um, see you next time. Adieu.